welcome to my kitchen. I call this Tina's Joyful Kitchen. And today is our field trip to pizza land. I hope that you are all super duper excited and ready to go to pizza land. Today, we have a very, very special guest with us. Mr. Guest, would you like to introduce yourself? My name's Connor and um, I'm seven and I lost my first tooth when I was in a night at my grandpa's. Wow, that's, oh, that, you, that's fantastic. Would you like to introduce somebody else over here? You gotta come in all the way, honey. I gotta come in over here. Yeah, this you gotta come in. My and, and, and she is the best bonus mom. Oh. So we have our bonus mom, Martiel, and Teal, and we have Mr. Connor, who's wearing a Tina apron. <laughs> and let me, let, let me tell you what we're going to do today, and then I will introduce myself one more time. We are doing a field trip to pizza land because pizza can be so many different, you can have pizza in so many different ways. And it is like astounding how many different ways that we can have pizza. And, and so we're going to make pizza in all of different ways that you probably never even imagined. And we're also going to make a special tomato sauce for our pizza. And that is super duper simple, but it's also super simple to get the tomato sauce out of a jar. However, however, make it yourself and it'll be super duper special for you and your family. I'm even going to teach you how to make a cauliflower pizza crust. It's going to be so much fun. If you are ready to have some fun with us, type fun in the chat. Go ahead and type fun in the chat if you're ready to have a little bit of fun with us. Now, if you are cooking with us, then go ahead and put a one in the chat. If you're just watching, then put a two in the chat, okay? Now, let me introduce myself and then we're really, really, really going to get started. My name is Tina McDermott and I call myself the lazy inspirational chef. This is my love. This is my passion to teach people how they can find joy in the kitchen and eat healthy and delicious food that keeps them healthy and vibrant and and keeps their family healthy and i'm going to teach you how to get not even sneak vegetables but to just eat more vegetables and make them super duper yummy are vegetables yummy say yummy if they're yummy yummy <laughs> i got a yummy out of him vegetables are yummy and we're gonna make them yummy so you ready to get started let's get the party started hands up in the air party is getting started today yes good very, very good. Now let's get started with, we're gonna make the, the base for pizza, right? People think that it has to be dough. And we're gonna start with some dough. This is dough that I got from the freezer section and I thawed it out today. And Connor is going to roll the dough out with his bonus mom. So when you, we're gonna roll out the dough, you're always gonna wanna put a little flour on your board first. Okay. So first put a little flour on, first wash your hands. Okay, for we, yeah, we all washed our hands a little bit ago, but you're gonna put a little flour on the board and now you're gonna take your pizza dough out. Now, some of us are making some English muffin pizzas. We're gonna make some of those too. Some of us are making flour tortilla pizzas and some of us are going to make some veggie pizzas. Yes, instead of pizza crust, we are going to use eggplant slices or zucchini slices as the base for our pizza. Wow, who'd have thought that we would use vegetables? And it was actually my friend Martiel, Connor's bonus mom, right? Who taught us to do it this way. Now, before I get to the rest of the bases, because there's more bases you can do, is if you're gonna, we're gonna roll out the dough and you can roll out the dough if you don't have a, uh, what is this called? 
a rolling pin. I couldn't figure out what it's called. If you don't have a rolling pin, then maybe you have some kind of glass bottle or plastic bottle, or I know, I know, um, a bottle of olive oil, round something round and cylindrical. So I'm not saying that right. I could have easily have rolled it out using my bottle of olive oil, or maybe even a can of tomatoes. You can just roll out your pizza dough with your can of tomatoes, or you can eat what the way that I rolled out this dough, I just used my fingers. Now, you know what? Let me show you how to use your fingers. And Connor, maybe you want to do the fingers too, or you can keep with the rolling pin. So watch what I'm going to do here. I'm going to get my pizza dough and I'm just going to push it gently down and out with my fingers and then spread my fingers apart. Push down and out and open my fingers and spread it apart. Down and out and spread it with the fingers. It, and then now I'm just going to pull it apart. Now you can do it that way too, or you can keep using your rolling pin, Connor, whichever one you want to do. You know, get your hands in your food and work your food. Get your, it's, it's okay to get your hands dirty. It really is because there's soap and water right there in your kitchen that you can wash them when you're done. Or you just wipe them on your, your apron because that's why we wear aprons, right? Yeah, so those are a couple of, now it's not, not too forceful, right? Now, if it's not working too well with your hands, then go ahead and go back to the rolling pin. Yeah, no big deal, go back to the rolling pin. Yeah, now I have a pizza stone here. I have a pizza stone and yes, you already see a crust that I made. And this is a crust that I, I made earlier. Of course, I moved my, I pushed it out with my hands. This one is gluten-free. Not everybody needs to be gluten-free. Some people in my household need to be gluten-free. So that's why I made one of these. And I just wanted to show you, this is my pizza stone. You don't need a pizza stone. You can just use a cookie tray, right? Let me see a cookie tray. Can I see that cookie tray somewhere? What, a cookie tray? You can put your pizza in a cookie tray. You don't need to have a stone, okay? You don't. Cookie trays work beautifully for this. So I was talking about bases for pasta, right? I mean, not pasta, pizza. I want to call pizza pasta all the time. I don't know why. So we've got, what do we have? We have the regular dough. We have English muffins. We have tortillas. We have tortillas. And then we have my gluten-free crust. We have our vegetables, the eggplant, the zucchini. And we also have a cauliflower crust. Have you ever made a cauliflower crust? If you've made a cauliflower crust before, put a one in the chat. If you have never made a cauliflower crust, put a two in the chat. And I'm gonna show you how to make a cauliflower crust as the next base. Now, before we get to the cauliflower crust, what I wanna do is I wanna get our special, super easy sauce going first, okay? So let's get our sauce going first. And our sauce is really easy. I'm just gonna get a can of diced tomatoes I'm gonna grab an onion and I turned the heat on on my pasta on my my pot, and I'm gonna chop up some onion and throw some onion in there. You know, we need to get how many cups of vegetables do you think that we, Connor? How many cups of vegetables do you think that you need to eat every single day? I don't quite know. You don't quite know, but if you did know, let me ask you this: How many cups of vegetables do you think you eat a day? And this is about a cup. How many cups of vegetables do you eat a day? A handful. No, I'm showing you a handful, but how many do you eat a day? Um, I don't you don't know. He says, I don't quite know. Now, it's important, Connor, did you know that you should be eating as a little kid five cups of vegetables a day? Five handfuls like this of vegetables a day. Yum. Our vegetables... Well, how, do you like vegetables? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Vegetables are what? Um, yum. Yum. <laughs> vegetables are what? Say it again into the microphone. Mm. No, yummy. <laughs> vegetables are I yummy. Like salad. He, he said he likes salad too. And he's still, look, you're doing a great job rolling that out, putting some muscle into it, aren't you? Yeah, he's 
he's putting some because you have muscles yes did you show us your muscles earlier connor show us your muscles yes connor has some muscles there connor has some muscles that he wants to show off and he's proving it with his pizza crust you know what if your pizza crust isn't round does it matter it does not matter if your pizza crust is not round don't worry about it i forgot to put the little bit of, i turned the oven my stove on i turned the heat on i should say put a little bit of olive oil in there it's fine just a little bit about a tablespoon if you really want to guess remember i call myself the lazy inspirational chef and i don't always measure things i don't always measure things and i just kind of eyeball it why my mom came here. from off the boat italy and she never measured anything they didn't have measuring cups okay where she came from they didn't have measuring cups so they eyeball everything and it's okay it's okay for you to eyeball things as well hello and welcome if you are just joining us go ahead and type in the chat where are you calling in from and what is your favorite pizza what is your favorite pizza? Go ahead and type in the chat where are you calling in from and what is your favorite pizza? Now, I put a little olive oil, put some onion in there, and now I'm going to put about half a teaspoon of salt, sea salt. I'm going to put a little bit of sea salt in there just to get that stirred up and yummy yum. Now, next, okay, did you need me for anything, sweetheart? Oh, you got that beautifully round. Now it's probably time to put it on the pizza stone, right? Are you ready to put it on the pizza stone? It's going to break. Well, if you pick it up like that, it will. But let's figure out how to, should we prepare this pizza stone? Now we have a pizza stone. Remember, you can use a cookie tray if you want. And you can pour some olive oil on here. Or I've got an olive oil spray. So I'm just going to spray it up. Get a little olive oil on there. And let's see, Connor, do you know how to put it on here? You ask for a little bit of help from your friends. Great job. That is, beautiful. That is just absolutely high five. I need a high five too. Ouch, that hurt. He does have muscles. He does have muscles or muscles. Okay. Now, we're also going to make some other pizzas, right? We're going to make some tortilla pizzas and some English muffin pizzas. Should we dress this one first and then go to those? You want to do that? Sure. Okay. Let's do it. So now I'm making a sauce, and since the sauce isn't done, I'm just I got some more some some tomato sauce from Aldi's, and it's a simple marinara sauce. Marinara sauce is very simple, and you don't want to go too extravagant. I don't me personally, I don't like extravagant sauces on your pizza. You want to go simple. So go ahead and go to town with your bonus mom let's put some sauce on there and then you go ahead and put the toppings on and i'll talk to you all about the toppings in just a little bit we'll talk all about the toppings in just a little bit now they it it's heating up it's heating up you got it yeah go ahead and put the sauce on don't be shy put the sauce on now we want to eat vegetables. That's the discussion we were having, right? How many cups of vegetables do, should you be eating? He's Because he's small, five cups is good for a little kid, don't you think? Five cups is good for us adults. Can any of you adults out there guess how many cups of vegetables you need to be eating every day? Can you adults out there, oh, I have somebody jumping up and down. What do you think, Martiel? How many cups of vegetables should you be drinking, eating every single day? How many fingers am I holding up? <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. That's 10. That's 10 to 12. I already knew that because I'm smart. Oh, yeah. You knew that, right? I'm so, not very smart. Well, you're, you're smart, Connor. Going out from you very smart. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, what I'm doing to get our extra vegetables in our pizza sauce is I'm cutting up mushrooms. Martiel washed these mushrooms earlier, got any dirt off of them, and I'm simply just slicing, chopping them up into little pieces. And guess what, guys? I am not even being perfect with my little pieces because, you know, tomatoes are a vegetable as well. You're done? Now, what are you going to put next on your pizza? What do you, everyone gets to have their own pizza. 
So you're going to put some cheese. So behind us, Martil, would you bring over the toppings yeah. so that he can All put right, them right here? Yeah, bring over the, we have the whole smorgasbord of toppings behind us. I'll talk about that in a little bit. Oh, all right. But, oh, he brought it over. He's resourceful. So I want to tell you something about cheese. If you don't want your bag of cheese to get mold, don't put your fingers in there. Get a fork, get a spoon, get tongs. Don't use your fingers because otherwise the rest of, you know, if you're storing it in the bag, it will get moldy. Now, we are going to use all of this mozzarella cheese tonight with all the pizzas that we're making. So I don't mind if you do want to use your little cute little fingers that I know you washed. Okay. All right. Next, what else am we putting in? Oh, we're going to put some spinach in our tomato sauce. Why am I using spinach? Yes, I know it's green, but we're using spinach because Believe it or not, spinach is a little on the sweet side and it, it, it doesn't have a strong, strong, strong flavor. So we're going to chop up some spinach. There's something I forgot to put in here. Super simple. I got some Italian seasoning and I'm going to put about, remember I'm lazy. So I'm just going to put like a half a cap full in there of Italian seasoning. So we get up some, we get some more flavor. If you want, you can throw in some fresh garlic. I'm not going to do the garlic route tonight. I'm just going to do onions, mushrooms, and spinach. Do you like spinach? No. No? Like oh, oh this is a good yeah. test. Who knows? Who knows who Popeye is? Who on this channel? Who with me today knows who Popeye is? I know who he is, but I can't remember. You know who he is, but you can't remember. Who here knows who Popeye? If you know who Popeye is, put Popeye in the chat. Who knows who Popeye is? Put Popeye in the chat. Popeye was a cartoon that we used to watch as children. And Popeye was this small little sailor guy. And when he needed some strength, to beef up and you know when somebody was bullying him or when he needed some strength to lift a car off of somebody you know what he would do connor do you know what what uh, what popeye would do when he needed some strength he he opened a can of spinach he opened a can of spinach right he opened a can of spinach ate the spinach and what did it do show me what did it do it show me show me show me show me it gave him muscles right and the truth is when you eat your spinach you it nourishes your body and makes you strong so eat your spinach and if you don't like the taste of spinach by itself in a salad and one moment, please. I'll be right with you. Thank you. I'm glad you told me you're ready. Hold on a second, okay? And eat your spinach so that you can be strong and you can grow to be tall like Connor. He's taller than me tonight. Look at that. I'm not really tall. I'm on a stoop <laughs> You are tall, though. You are tall. Now, give me a second, Connor, and then we're going to talk about putting... You can reach people's head. You can reach people's head? Not Teal. No one's going to reach Teal's head. She's six foot four. Yeah. <laughs> You're still a lot taller than the last time I saw you, kiddo. Okay. Now, I want to put this in the sauce, and then we're going to talk about Connor's pizza, okay? We're going to talk about his first pizza, because Connor's making a whole bunch of pizzas tonight. I'm going to put a little bit of water in this pan. Just a little bit of water, no big deal. Gets My mom taught me to do that, to get up all of the rest of the juice that's in that can. Don't be afraid, put a little water in there. And that's just diced tomatoes. And that's it. I'm just gonna stir this up and let it cook for 10, 20, 15 minutes. Caitlin, can you, um, you don't have to set a timer, just remind me in about 15 minutes to take a look at this in case I forget, okay? All right, here we go. So let's talk about Connor's pizza. Connor, is your pizza ready? Yeah. Yeah? What do you got going on here? You're washing your hands because we wash our hands a lot when we're in the kitchen, right? 
So what did you put on your pizza, Connor? Pepperoni. Wow. I, I put first on I I rolled out the dough and then I put sauce and cheese and then pepperoni. And then pepperoni. You put a lot of pepperoni on there, little kid. Yeah. Because what? why? It makes it more tasty. Yeah, but what... <laughs> And, and and this is this is acceptable. We can have a pizza that's just cheese and pepperoni, but what should you eat at the same time you're eating your pizza with the pepperoni? Can you put that in the oven? We're putting it in the oven, 425, for how many minutes, Martio? 15. 15 minutes. Okay, yes. Google, 15 minute timer. Okay, Google, 15 minute timer. So Google's gonna timer on that. And yeah, so what's missing from that pizza? Can anyone in, in the room tell me what is missing from that pizza? We, what did we talk about that you need five cups of? Vegetables, yes. Vegetables are pretty much missing from that pizza. So like I said, it's okay to have a pizza that doesn't have vegetables in it, but if you're gonna eat, when you eat the pizza, eat it with some vegetables. So what vegetables are you gonna eat that pizza with? Yes, a salad. You're gonna eat the pizza with a salad. That's fantastic. I'm so glad you like your vegetables. Great job, kiddo. Great One job. What's that? One time I had a pizza with, um, I think, mint. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Okay, but that's okay, pizza. But you know, the world is your oyster when it comes to pizzas. The world is your oyster when it comes to pizzas. And next, Martiel and Mr. Connor are going to make their pizzas with tortillas and English muffins, as my grandma, I'm telling you, she would call them muffins. So, yeah, so just put them, yeah, put them all on the same tray, right? And this way we can top them the way we want, and then we'll do the vegetables, right? Okay. We got so much going on. We got one pizza in the oven, one pizza in the oven. Some more pizzas are getting worked on over here. We have sauce being made over here. I'm just gonna have to stir it up a little bit. And okay, so if you have any questions, let me know, Connor, okay? Same thing and let me know what, I'm gonna ask you what you're gonna put on those. So where are we here? We are going to make, we are going to make cauliflower pizza crust. Why? Because it's fun and it's really, 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 I think it's super duper good. Now you can easily get frozen cauliflower, riced cauliflower. You can, I find it right in the freezer section at Aldi's cauliflower crust so that you can get more vegetables in your tummy. Do you like cauliflower? No? Okay. Well, if you don't like cauliflower, give it a try because personally, I think cauliflower doesn't taste like anything. And then we're going to put stuff in it so that it tastes like something. Okay. So that it tastes like something. And what are we going to put in it? Here it is. I'm going to put some of that Italian seasoning. This is my, my food processor, by the way. You can do this all by hand if you want to. So you get the, the rice cauliflower, get some Italian seasoning, some sea salt and pepper. I already put that in there. We're gonna get one cup of mozzarella cheese. I'm just gonna put the whole cup of mozzarella cheese in there. And one egg, one egg, crack an egg. There you go. And now we're going to process it in the food processor. Who here has had cauliflower pizza? Anybody here had cauliflower pizza? Put a one in the chat if you've ever had cauliflower pizza. Martil, have you ever had cauliflower pizza? Totally, yes. Yeah? Mm -hmm. All right. So we're going to get over to Connor in just a second and see what, how we, can we put the English muffin ones here too? Can we yep. put them on the same tray? Put some more. Oh, I was just wondering if we can put them. So you see what I'm doing? I'm, because I don't have riced cauliflower, I'm pulsing it, pulsing it, pulsing it. Be back in just a few moments as I'm processing. Is this good?
My sauce is boiling nicely. I just want that spinach to cook down, okay? And those mushrooms to cook down. And this way, you could have put all the tomatoes and the spinach and the mushrooms all in the blender, but I like a chunky sauce. If you like a chunky sauce, you're gonna do it the way I just did it, okay? And it looks like it's done. Okay, so I'll get back to this in a second, but let's check in with Mr. Connor over here, the amazing, mighty Mr. Connor. Are you the amazing, mighty Mr. Connor? Yes? I'm from Italy. Like my, my parents were born and raised. I've been there back and forth my entire life. And one of the things that I fell in love with in Italy is pizza with chocolate sauce, Nutella on it. I love, yep. I love chocolate. Pizza. You love, tell me again, you love chocolate? I love chocolate. Connor loves chocolate. So try a pizza crust with a little bit of chocolate spread on it. Okay. It's amazing. But when I go to my aunt and uncle's house, they have the uh, the oven downstairs that they that they prep all day long with the wood and get it nice and hot. My aunt makes all a bunch of individual little pizza doughs and has an entire and has an entire spread like we have here of toppings. So people, you get your pizza, your your individual pizza dough, and then you go and you put whatever toppings you want on it. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do for my pizza in a little bit. But the, basically, the world is your oyster when it comes to making pizza. What do you like? What vegetables do you like? What sauces do you like? Those are the things that you are going to put on your pizza. Now, Connor is going to town over here. Right, Connor? You're going to town? You're doing a great job, little guy. I'm going to make a you're going to make a sandwich with that one? Okay. You know, I, I, like I said, the world is your oyster. So, Connor, can I show people what you have so far? Because I don't know if there's room for another English muffin on there. No. Can I show them? We'll cook some more in a minute. Yeah, let's do, let's show them this. And, Connor, can you tell everybody what kind of a pizza that is? What's it called? Um, um, uh. We made a taco pizza. So we got the tortilla, put a little pizza sauce on it. Hey, could you have put some salsa in there instead? Ooh, we could have put salsa on there. And then what did you put? Tell me what's underneath there. What's that? Um, peppers. He put some chopped up red peppers. These little, uh, these are little baby peppers, chopped up red peppers. And then what's that other stuff on there? Those black things, what are those? Black, oh, maybe we don't talk while we're eating, okay? Yeah, we don't talk with mouthful. I didn't realize your mouth was full, I'm so sorry. So we got black beans, and then it looks like we have jalapeno peppers on there, and some, what is that, Monterey Jack cheddar cheese mix. And, and then these are the English muffins that he looks like he put some sauce, some Jack cheese, a slice of tomato, a slice of, of mushroom and some cheese on top. And over here, he made a triple decker. Oh my gosh, these look so good. I don't know if you're gonna be able to eat them all. So I think I might have to help you. And same thing over here, put the sauce. Look how fun that is. Look how fun that is. You're ready to put these in the oven? Do we have room in the oven? Yep. All right, ready. away we go. It's 425 for about 15 minutes. Is it 15 minutes even for the taco ones? We're gonna put them in for 10 and okay. check them. We'll check them in 10 minutes. There we go. All right. You don't have to like mushrooms, it's okay. All right, now, before I get to the cauliflower pizza, next, Martiel and Mr. Connor are going to do, are going to make, I'm sorry, I need to turn the oven back on. Here we go. The, oops, they are going to make their vegetable, their eggplant and zucchini pizzas their eggplant and zucchini pizzas, and they're gonna dress those up. You ready? All right, they're gonna get ready for that. And as they're doing that, I'm gonna get back to making our cauliflower crust. Now, if you wanna tell me, what is your favorite pizza to make? What is your favorite pizza to make? What is your favorite pizza? What are your favorite toppings? And I'm just stirring up my sauce. 
10, 15, 20 minutes, it's fine. Everything looks like it's meshing together beautifully. And now here's the cauliflower crust. We actually end up baking this twice, okay? We end up baking this two times. You bake the crust before you put the toppings on. So let me get this out of the way. And since it's sharp, I'm just gonna take care of this right away. Put it someplace where no one can get hurt behind the sink. And there we go. I'm gonna lower the heat on that. And cauliflower crust. We were running low on pizza stones, but I have this other round stone that we're going to use, okay? Just spread that all out. And then the cauliflower crust, I'm gonna bake at also 425. This one gets baked for about 20 minutes. This one gets baked for about 20 minutes, okay? And then when it comes out, we'll put all the toppings on it. It may be done by the time we're, we're done with the show. It may not be done, that's okay. It's all good, just spread this out. Actually, I wanna make this a little thinner, so I'm gonna put some back, okay? Yeah, you wanna make this a little thinner. Yeah, I put way too much cauliflower crust stuff in there. Okay, make it a little thinner. I can get two crusts out of this. How fun is that? Okay. Now we've got a lot of things in our oven. So this is gonna go into our small little toaster oven. I have a toaster oven that we're gonna bake this in, okay? I think I got this thin enough. Maybe make it a little thinner so we can make two crusts out of it. Okay. This is gonna be more of a pizza pie than a, like a pizza crust thing, but it's all good. Life is messy, we make the best of it. There we go, I'm gonna put that in the oven, 325 for about 20 minutes. Okay, so that is in the oven, our cauliflower crust. And let's check back in with the famous, amazing Mr. Connor. What do we got going on over here, Mr. Connor? Talk to us. We got eggplant with sauce and mushrooms and we got carrots with sauce and mushrooms on top. You mean zucchini? zucchini. Yes. Can I show them a piece of zucchini? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let me show them a piece of zucchini. I want you to show you, she, we, we cut the zucchini in thirds. We cut the zucchini in thirds. It's nice and thick so that when you bake it, it doesn't go mush mush, okay? Yeah, so when you bake it, it doesn't go mush mush. Those are my, my new terms, mush mush. Okay, mush mush. This is our cauliflower. We're gonna bake that second one later. And what are we putting on there? What are we putting on your pizza over here? We're putting cauliflower sauce and I don't like mozzarella cheese. That's mozzarella cheese. Mm -hmm. that, so he's putting some mushrooms, some mozzarella cheese, now these are for Miss, uh, Mrs. Martiel. So Martiel is going to choose which, what toppings you want, right? You're putting what you want on here. I like them all. You are? <laughs> Martiel <laughs> likes them all. I like them all. They're all tasty. I want you to see the sauce. I want to check in with the sauce. I'm just going to let this simmer. The more it simmers, the more that the flavors marry. And what I mean by Mary, they, they come together and they taste good. If you wanted to, you can taste it now and see if it maybe needs a little more salt, a little more pepper, a little bit more Italian seasoning, maybe some fresh garlic I should have put in here, but I didn't. And just let it simmer. Just let, let it simmer for the next few minutes or so, okay? And okay, next. All right. Do we have room in the fr in the oven? Is anything ready to come out? Uh, we should have a timer going off for the first pizza, which was 15 minutes. Okay, good. So we've got the first, yep, 11 seconds. Okay, go, go, cancel. 
problem. All right. So the first pizza is going to come out right now. Let's take a look at our first pizza. You excited, Connor? You excited? We're going to take our first pizza out. And let's see how it's doing. Ooh. Okay. I'm burning my face. That's okay. Got to use all parts of your body when you're cooking pizza. Now, if you take a look at this, I don't think that the crust is crispy enough. So I might put it in for another two minutes or so. So let's take a look underneath the crust here. See, it doesn't look crispy because it's not browning underneath. So I'm gonna put it in, I think maybe about four more minutes. Okay, here we go. Kaylin, can you do a four minute timer for me, dear? Yep. Thank you. Let's keep that right here and make that Connor's dishcloth. There we go. I think I wanna put a little more pepper in here. If you haven't had freshly ground black pepper, oh my goodness, really good. Try some freshly ground black pepper. And that just gives it more flavor as well as of course the Italian seasonings, right? <gasps> Holy mackerel, they look beautiful. Did you do this? You made these? We drizzle some olive oil on them. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're not going to repeat that one. Okay. So we're going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil on them because we want the, the vegetable to absorb a little olive oil and it'll be delicious. Martiel, do you want to do the honors? Sure. Okay. So we just got a little bit of olive oil. And how long do these need to go in the oven for, Martiel? Usually when I cook them, I do eight minutes. Okay. And then two to three minutes at a time, because depending on how thick your squash is, mm -hmm. it may need to cook longer, shorter. Okay, so, you wanna, so yeah. Uh, you wanna do them in little increments. Kind of like I did the pizza, like 15 minutes, and then I'm gonna check it in two to four minutes or something. Yeah. But this one you wanna cook for eight minutes, and then check it again every two minutes, just to see. So we're gonna put them in the oven, and we're gonna see how they work. But we have to wait till one of the pizzas come out of the oven because there's two things in there already. Plus the cauliflower crust is in my toaster oven. We got a lot going on today. Let's talk a little bit while we're waiting. Oh, you know what I should do? You know what I should do? Here's my, here's my personal pizza. I'm gonna dress my personal pizza because I'm gonna show you how I like it. Now, I'm a little bit different than most people. I don't always have to have sauce, but today I'm gonna to put a little bit of sauce on. No, I'll put the sauce later. I'm gonna put some, mine is gonna be Italian style, some ricotta cheese. So here we go. I'm gonna put a little bit of some blobs of ricotta cheese and spread. I love a white pizza, but I don't know. I love all pizzas. I love them all. Just like Martillo, she likes them all. So I'm gonna put, I love ricotta cheese on my pizza. So forgive me as I blob it on, okay? Forgive me as I blob it on because it is so good and yummy and delicious and perfect. Do you like ricotta cheese, Connor? Mm -hmm. Do you like this kind of cheese? No. no, have you had it before? No. No, <laughs> okay. I think that means that he doesn't want to have it and that's okay. That's okay. Now, next thing that I love on my pizza, let me see if I can find it, is arugula. Yep. Can you check the fridge and see if there's some nope, arugula? It's right here. Oh my goodness. Now this is actually an arugula spinach mix. Some people think I'm a little crazy and I like it. I love, love, love arugula on my pizza. Now in Italy, I don't think that they put enough arugula on the pizza, but we're gonna put a lot of arugula on our pizza here. And uh, yum, yum, yum. I'm also gonna put some slices of tomato on my pizza. And Tina, I've got a few more slices coming up for you. Oh. Not oh, okay, good, 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 good. You got him? Yep. We've got some more slices of tomatoes because I like sliced tomatoes on my pizza. Now I want you to notice that I'm leaving the center 
open. I'm leaving the center open. Can anyone guess why I'm leaving the center open? Hmm? Connor, can you guess why I'm leaving that center You're open? I'm going to put something special on it. Hmm. I am going to put an egg. An Have egg? you ever had an egg on a pizza? Have you ever had an egg on a pizza? You crack an egg, you put it in the middle, and you cook it. Holy cowza, it is so good. Oh my goodness, I cannot, I'm salivating, I cannot wait to eat this pizza. Now, let's talk about, before I crack this, we're almost ready to put other things in there, right? Do you think that the tortillas yeah. are ready? Yeah, and okay. your four minute timer is also going off. Wonderful. Martil, can you check the, the, the dough pizza? Do you have, here's the things here, here. Don't burn your hands. And I'm gonna crack my egg. Crack my egg right on the top. Yes, it looks a little crazy and it's delicious. At least to me, I think it's delicious. Next, I'm gonna put some little bit of Italian seasoning on the top. Just rub, when you rub the dried uh, seasoning between your fingers, it actually activates the seasoning. And I could have just done this, but when you rub it between your fingers, it just, it activates the oil from your fingers, makes it taste better. So that's why I'm doing that, okay? There we go. And I'm also gonna put a little bit of sea salt on the top. There we go, a little bit of sea salt. And then, because I just love goat cheese and there's goat cheese sitting here, I can't not use my goat cheese. So I'm gonna plop a little bit of goat cheese on there as well. Remember, the world is your oyster. Whatever you like on your pizza, I want you to put on your pizza as long as it fits. <laughs> as long as it fits. Now, how are we doing on the pizza? Is it done? Well, I think our pepperoni is complete. Huh? Our pepperoni pizza is ready. So let's take a look at it. Martil, do you want to bring it over? Yeah. Martil's going to bring I'm it over. Set it right here. Okay, so watch out. Don't touch this because it's very hot, Connor, okay? We don't want those handsome hands of yours to get burned. And take a look at that. You know what, Martiel? Bring it on over. Bring it on. Bring, 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 bring it on over. I want them to see what a pizza underneath looks like when it's done. Okay, thank you for that. You see how it's a little more brown than it was the last time? That's when you see it's brown on the outside and crispy-ish on the top. Mm. That is a pizza that is done. Now do not eat it right away. Go ahead and set it down. Don't touch it, Connor, it's hot, okay? Move your little fingers, please. And we're gonna slice this up. Let it cool for a few minutes, okay? Let it cool for a few minutes. If you want, you can lay this out on a wooden cutting board and then cut it. So why don't we let it cool for a few moments and this is ready for the oven. Is, is the oven ready for this? Or uh, is there something else that needs to go? We just put the veggies in and they should be ready to come out very soon. And then the tacos are underneath. Are those done yep. yet? They've got like three more minutes. Okay, three more minutes on the tacos. And then this one, so you gotta like do the math on all of this stuff. You need your family with you, which, you know, and Martiel's part of my family. She's been part of my family for years. She's a really good friend of mine. And I want to talk about a little bit about family time and eating together. Growing up in an Italian family, you could not start eating dinner until dad came home. No matter how hungry you were, dad should be home any minute. You have to sit and you have to wait before dinner. Mom would give us a little bit of appetizers while we were waiting. But the importance of eating together with family was so profound in our household. And when we go to Italy, it's the same thing. Everyone eats together, family eats together. Why do you think it's so important for families to eat together? When we eat together, we get to check in with each other. How are you doing? How was your day? How did that talk go with your teacher? How did you do on your test? And it gives you an opportunity to check in with your children and also for your children to check in with you because they need you, our, they need our, we, children need their parents. It's very, very, very important. 
And, you know, it's also a time to say, hey, did you brush your teeth this morning? You know, it's really, and, and to laugh, share fun stories from your day and laugh about it. Do you have a fun story to share with us today, Mr. Connor? Anything fun comes to mind? Did you brush your teeth this morning? Yeah, did you eat your vegetables today? Yeah, watch, this is hot, sweetheart. Watch, this is hot. Did you okay. and Jacob go on any adventures at lunchtime? Did you go for a walk? No. Did you no. play with Maggie? Yeah, so it's a t dinner time is a time to really just touch base with your family and laugh together and just be together and pray together if you do that too, because it's just, it's a time to, it's so, 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 so important. Next, let's see what's going on. What do we have coming up next? We have the tacos coming out. They're going to be coming out. This yeah. one's going to go in in a minute. Um, And the other the other thing that I want to say that is just super uber important is making food together. Just like Connor. Connor, you're in the kitchen with your bonus mom all the time, aren't you? Yeah, this is not your first show, your first rodeo making pizza, is it? You've you've done this before, haven't you? Not like on show. <laughs> not on TV, right? Or not on on camera, but but you've done it before, right? Because Martiel makes positive, makes sure that Connor is in the kitchen and understanding how to cook. And that food comes from foods that you prepare yourself as a family. I've always been in the kitchen with my mom and my dad wasn't always in the kitchen with us, but I was always there with my mom and my siblings preparing food, cleaning up afterwards. And remember kids, help your mom and dad clean up. We got one more pizza to make, one more gluten-free pizzas. Are there any other pizzas that we need to make? Am I nope, missing anything? But we would love your help getting this pizza off the pizza stone. Okay, so let's get that pizza off the pizza stone. Slide it. And there we go. There we go. We'll move this out of the way. And we have, let's see, one more pizza to dress. I turned this off. You ready? We're going to dress our, our, our last. I think that, no, we have the cauliflower one too. Oh, you want to show those to us here? Put it right yes, here. Put it right there, yes. right, right there, right there, right there, right there, right there. I forgot those were coming out of the oven. Here we have our taco pizza. Oh my goodness gracious, Connor. Look what you did. You made the most amazing English muffin pizzas I've ever seen. Are you, are you ready? Oh, don't touch it. Don't touch it, sweetie. Because it had a hot something there. Did you hurt yourself? All right. And then, all right. So here we go. Can you see our taco pizzas? Remember, let it cool off for a little bit. And once it's cool, then you can slice it with a pizza slicer. If you don't have a pizza slicer, Kids, don't pick this up. You wait for mom and dad to use this, or you slice it with just a knife, okay? Remember, slide this onto a cutting board and then slice it up, okay? Look how beautiful these are. Great job, Connor. They Great are job. They are just absolutely amazing. I cannot wait to eat these. I'm going to put I these bet aside. Dad is going to be very excited about the holidays. Oh what my goodness gracious. Oh, there's jalapenos on there. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. They look amazing. Cauliflower pizza crust. Does anybody want to see how it's coming out? There is only four more minutes for this, but here we have it. We get to dress the cauliflower pizza crust. That's what it looks like. And now we're going to put some toppings on it. Okay. This is going to be like a deep dish pizza. Okay. A deep dish pizza. You ready? And Martiel, how should, what should we put on this pizza? What should we put on this pizza? Well, Let's I see. Don't know. I'm pretty Since sure we should put some of this lovely sauce. Well, that you made. and I know it's going to be like a deep dish pizza. I know. So, yeah, and then well, we'll and then we we'll dress that such one. Such a odd array of things over here. Yeah. I think it should be a kitchen sink pizza. Oh, <laughs> have you ever heard of the kitchen sink? That means whatever you got, put it on. <laughs> whatever you've got. Looks like Mr. Connor's taking a little break, and that's cool. You've done a lot of work today, little dude. Right? You've done a lot of work. Yeah. 
My goodness gracious. It's tough work. All right, so cauliflower pizza crust pizza. I'm putting all of that beautiful sauce. You see how it got cooked down, the spinach got cooked down, the tomatoes got cooked down, the onions got cooked down. So we're just gonna call this a deep dish pizza. We're gonna call this the deep dish. All right, you ready kiddo? Mm -hmm. What are we putting on it next? We're gonna put some chicken? Yeah. You wanna cut it up? Yeah, this we is, did. Yeah. I've got, I have so many toppings over here, it's crazy. You want me to cut it up? Yeah, All right. let's go. These are some chicken strips, so we're gonna put some chicken on there. And how's about we not put that on? Oh, I'm yes. not a fan of pepperoni. I don't know about oh, you. Come on. I don't like pepperoni. <laughs> I know. What good Italian doesn't like uh, pepperoni? I don't know. So I'm going to cut my chicken up small so that when we cut our pieces of pizza, you have bite sized pieces. That's what you want. You want bite sized. Oh, we got the mushrooms. They're so pretty. Now, I want you to know I touched some protein, I touched meat. So I'm gonna go and wash my hands right after this. this. These are chicken strips that I cooked earlier. And- There's your crowning jewel tomatoes. Ooh, ooh, should we- We only we, have two left. Wait, should we do an egg, an egg on this one too? Or is that overkill? Like. Or is that overkill? Wait, do we have a timer on the other pizzas? Yeah, it's on my watch. Oh, good for you. What do you know? I think I'm liking this chicken on this pizza. So I'm putting a whole bunch of chicken on this pizza. My, uh, what is your favorite kind of pizza, Tina? Um, the one that I made earlier, the the one with the the white pizza. <laughs> with my, the, what is your favorite kind of pizza? Oh, uh, this is really gonna show where I'm from. You take tomato sauce, uh -huh. and then you put down green chili, <gasps> roasted green chili, and chicken. Uh huh. And sometimes you can put pineapple on it, and I'm a diabetic, so I kind of have to stay away from pineapple, but it is the most amazing thing you've ever had in your life. Okay, we're gonna have to try it. Why didn't we do them tonight? I don't know because I forgot. Why didn't we do those tonight? Oh my gosh. All right, I'm gonna wash my hands because I had chicken on them. And anytime you touch any kind of protein with your hands, you wash them. Right, Connor? You wash your hands. You're really good at washing hands, kiddo, right? <laughs> oh, we really do make it. We are making a little bit of a kitchen sink over here. And then I'm going to, we're going to put this back in the oven for about 10, 12 minutes. And we're just going to check it because basically we just want the cheese to be melted and everything to kind of marry. There goes that word again, marry, right? Should we do, that sauce is too saucy. So I'm going to use this sauce for this one. We got one more pizza here. Would you like another tomato or uh, we've got some black beans, we've got some jalapeno, we even have some ricotta. You know, my husband really likes a plain pizza. So I am Just going cheese. to make him a plain pizza with onions. Oh, I know what he likes, my onions, mushrooms, and mozzarella cheese. So let's do that for this one, okay? Onions, we've got mozzarella, we can get some more of that, and some mushrooms. Yep onions, mushrooms. All right, we're coming to an end. I would love to know, I would love to know as we're decorating, decorating our final pizzas, what have you found most valuable about our time together today? Like what is your favorite thing that you can take away from today? Like, yeah, I'm going to make pizza on eggplant, or I'm going to make pizza on English muffins, or what is it? What is your favorite takeaway from today? I'd love to hear from you. Type it in the chat. Go ahead and type it in the chat. What is your favorite takeaway from today? Like, yeah, I'm going to make some gluten-free pizza crust or something or other. What is it? Tell me, what is it? I'm just going to use up everything here. And onions. I needed to put onions on here and mushrooms. All right. Put some onions on there and I'm gonna chop up some mushrooms. This is hot still. And we're gonna put some mushrooms on here. All right, Connor, do you wanna come over and say hello or goodbye to everybody? All right, Connor's had it. He's tired for the day. We've, we've pushed him a little too far today probably. I wanna say here's our last 
I need no more onions, right? Uh, yes, we are out of onions. That's okay. You eat what you have. You eat what you have. I think I'm going to put an egg on this one too. What do you think? No, my no. This one's for my husband. He doesn't like the egg, or he does. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to make this one kind of on the plainish side. Make your pizzas. Here's the the thing, guys. Make your pizzas how you make want your pizzas to be made. Okay. Put your own fun toppings on. Make it fun. Spend time with your family in the kitchen having fun with food and eating really good food together. Thank you so much for being here. I want to say, you know, just remember, eat dinner with your family. Connor, did you want to say goodbye to everybody? Come on over and say, say, a, say a nice, good, big goodbye and thank you to everybody. Come on over, just say goodbye and they say thank you to everybody. Say goodbye. Bye and thank you, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching our show. Uh, field trip to pizza land. We've had so, so, so much fun with you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And until next time, bye for now.